Welcome back to Enfigyan friends. In today's video, we are having another challenging question from Radical Mathematics. We have to evaluate this expression. Let me call it is E. And given equation is 1 over x. So let's get started with 1 over x itself. I will write numerator as 187 I can write it is 17 times 11. 85 I can write it is 17 times 5. 55 it will be factorized as 11 times 5. And then 11 can be written as root of 11 times 11. Denominator. I can write it is 4 times 11 root 44 plus root 17 plus root 5. Now I will split radicals. So I can write 1 over x equal to this is root 17 times root 11 plus root 17 times root 5 plus root 11 times root 5 plus root 11 times root 11 using properties of radicals. Denominator I can write root 4 times root 11 and plus root 17 plus root 5. Now from first two terms you can see root 17 is common. So from here I will take root 17 common and from here I will take root 11 common. So root 17 in bracket it would be root 11 plus root 5. Similarly root 11 is common. So in bracket it will become root 5 plus root 11. Denominator will be this root 4 is 2. So I will write 2 times root 11 plus root 17 plus root 5. Now you can see root 11 plus root 5 bracket is common. So let's take common. So I will be writing here root 11 plus root 5 one bracket. Second bracket is root 17 plus root 11. Okay denominator will be I will write 2 root 11 as root 11 plus root 11. So let me write here root 11 plus root 5 and then I will be writing root 17 plus root 11 and this is our 1 over x. So let me write here root 11 plus root 5 times root 17 plus root 11 and denominator is root 11 plus root 5 plus root 17 plus root 11. This is 1 over x. Now I will flip. I will write the value of x. So x will become root 11 plus root 5 plus root 17 plus root 11 divided by root 11 plus root 5 times root 11 plus root 17. Same thing root 17 plus root 11. Now I will split with respect to first two terms of numerator and last two terms of numerator. So I can write x equal to root 11 plus root 5 divided by root 11 plus root 5 times root 17 plus root 11. This is done. Now I will be writing the second bracket root 17 plus root 11 divided by root 17 plus root 11 times root 11 
plus root 5. Now I will cancel whatever we can. So these two brackets here I will be cancelling and here also we will cancel these two brackets. Now what is left? I will write x equal to 1 over root 17 plus root 11 plus 1 over root 11 plus root 5. Let me write here x equal to 1 over root 17 plus root 11 and then I will be writing plus 1 over root 11 plus root 5. Now I will use rationalization. Let's multiply here with our numerator and denominator with root 17 minus root 11. Here also root 17 minus root 11. For second term I will be multiplying our numerator and denominator by root 11 minus root 5. Here also root 11 minus root 5. Now if you will notice denominator only then it is a plus b a minus b. So difference of two squares. So I will be writing here root 17 minus root 11 divided by a square minus b square. So root 17 is square 17 root 11 is square 11 plus root 11 minus root 5 divided by 11 minus 5. So here I can write root 17 minus root 11 divided by 6 plus root 11 minus root 5 divided by 6. Once I will add, I can cancel these two numbers plus and minus sign. So x finally we are getting root 17 minus root 5 divided by 6. Now we have to target how to evaluate our expression. Let's figure it out. So x is equal to square root 17 minus root 5 divided by 6. Multiply both sides with 6. So it will become 6x equal to root 17 minus root 5. Now I will add both sides root 5. So I will be writing 6x plus root 5 equal to square root 17. Now I will consider squaring both sides. So I will write power 2 this side also power 2. Now a plus b whole square identity I will use. So a square so I will write 36 x square. b square root 5 square is 5 plus 2 a b. So it will become 12 root 5 x. And right hand side I will be writing 17 only as we will cancel square root with power 2. Now I can write 36 x square plus 12 root 5 x and 17 minus 5 is 12. Equation is divisible by 12. So I can write 3 x square plus root 5 x equal to 1. Now I will consider 3x square to the right. So I can write 1 minus 3x square equal to root 5 times x. Now I will take squaring once again. So I will be writing here a minus b whole square. Let me write 9x power 4 plus 1 minus 6x square equal to 5 
x square. So this equation will convert 9x power 4 plus 1 equal to 11x square. Let me write here 9x power 4 plus 1 equal to 11x square. Because of x is non-zero, I will divide this equation by x square. So I will be writing here 9x square plus 1 by x square equal to 11 division by x square both sides. Now you can see our expression required same number. So I will consider division by 3 both sides. So let me write here 1 by 3 and this side also by 3. So I will be having 3x square plus 1 over 3x square equal to 11 by 3. Now you can see once I will take cube of this equation, I will get my expression E. So I will consider power 3 both sides. A cube, so 3x square whole cube. So I will be writing 27x power 6 plus B cube 1 over 27x power 6 plus 3AB. So 3 times 3x square times 1 over 3x square times a plus b. So 3x square plus 1 over 3x square, it is 11 by 3. Right hand side is 11 by 3 whole cube. Now I can cancel these two. Now this is our required expression e. So I will be writing here e plus 3 times 11 by 3 equal to 11 by 3 whole cube. So our expression E will become 11 by 3 whole cube E equal to 11 by 3 whole cube minus 3 times 11 by 3. Now I can see 11 by 3 is common. So it will be left 11 by 3 whole square. So 121 over 9 minus 3. So this will give us 11 by 3. 121 minus 27. So it is 94. So I will be writing here 94 over 9. So if I will take the product, our answer will be there 0034 divided by 27. And this is our final answer. And this brings the end of this video. I hope you will like this video friends. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye bye.